Ew. It's everywhere. Pranks help you give thanks. Yes, pranks are technically part of engineering. If you think about it that way, time to prank your world. I made a pop cake. This looks a little bit like Dr. Seuss, a little abstract. It's like a drag queen dino egg, and I'm into that. There's a balloon, and then there's a cake box. It's not cake, a cake box, which is a double prank on top of itself. Your parents are gonna eat anything, or your relatives will eat anything you'll make. Like, because they're proud of you. How do you repay them? By popping a balloon in their face. <laughs> I'm gonna show you how to make a pop cake. For this DIY, you'll need a balloon, a box of cake mix, duct tape, an X-Acto knife, sprinkles, and icing. Start by blowing up a balloon. Now we're gonna turn our cake box into a cake, literally. on really thick. Now add sprinkles to make it look more normal, I guess. Nothing to see here, not suspicious at all, you guys. It's the moment we've all been waiting for, testing out the pop cake. Safety first, you don't want any flying sprinkles, even though that'd be beautiful. You just don't want it in your eyeballs. Okay, ready? I have a knife, do not try this at home. Actually, no, try it a little bit. But technically, you're not gonna do it because you're gonna be pranking someone else. But definitely don't hurt yourself with this knife. Let's get to it. Ready? I'm nervous. <laughs> One, two, three. That was so underwhelming. <laughs> but I was waiting for like, but then it just. That's like the second Mean Girls movie. This is the second Mean Girls movie. Just. There's only one way we can redeem ourselves. Doing it a second time. Hopefully your twin sister is better. I have a second one. <laughs> We're trying this again. So hopefully it pops everywhere, but I feel like it won't. I'm gonna try a sawing motion this time, ready? Well that didn't work. One more time. One, two, three. That one turned out a little bit better. Not gonna lie. Yes, I got hit by a Few flying sprinkles. I thought that was a balloon. <laughs> that was frosting. It's a lot of sugar. Well, that was a success. <laughs> you might be thinking, oh Goldie, it's a pumpkin pie. That's so nice. That's an anti-prank. Think again, my young Padawans. It looks like pumpkin pie. Smells like pumpkin pie. It's not pumpkin pie. <laughs> it's a mustard pie. It's pretty gross. If you're into mustard, like, that might sound delicious to you. And I, can I help you? Okay, so I got my pumpkin pie and I scooped out a little, little hole in it, a little crevice, and uh, I'm gonna fill it with some mustard. Oh, there we go. Oh, I hate that. Oh, okay, so we're gonna take the mustard. Oh, oh man. This looks like frosting that's yellow. I wanna believe it's frosting, but it's not. Okay, so I'm gonna smoosh it down into the hole. Oh man, I feel bad forever getting this one. Okay, so that's a lot of mustard. Then we're gonna shake the whipped cream. Wow, that doesn't look like a mustard pumpkin pie. It's pumpkin pie with a hint of mustard. <laughs> Just a little hint. Just don't get them to smell it because that would be a deal breaker. So you know when everyone's like, they're done with their meal and they're kind of talking. You have to get up and offer people some dessert. Like, hey, what do you want? You only get one thing, it's only pumpkin pie. And if they say yes, you're like, you're in for a treat. And then they're gonna eat the first bite. Yum, not eating this. <laughs> Second bite. 
Yummy. <laughs> Ew. Third bite. I'm never talking to you again. And fourth bite, I'm crying. It's just a line of sadness. I'm kidding. Your family's probably gonna laugh and probably throw up for a little bit. It's all in the art of pranking. And uh, whoever tries this, my condolences. <laughs> Hey, do you want some mashed potatoes? Here you go. Oh yeah, I'll take some mashed potatoes. That's not going anywhere. <laughs> Frozen mashed potatoes. For this DIY, you'll need a large bowl, a serving spoon, water, and some instant mashed potatoes. First, fill the bowl a little bit more than halfway. Put it in the freezer until it's solid. In a separate bowl, make your instant mashed potatoes. Once your ice is frozen, add mashed potatoes to fill the rest of the bowl. If you want, you can do like curl ups with them. One, two, three. Thank you guys for pranking with me. It was fun. It was great. Some of these pranks are gonna get you in trouble. Tell me your favorites in the comments below. The most likely prank that I would use in real life would be the pop cake. Drag queen egg all the way, man. It's my nickname now. Drag queen egg. Give it a like if you liked it and uh, subscribe for more DIYs every Friday. That's all I have for you guys today and I'm thankful for all of you guys. I love the Goldie Yay! Squad. Yay! Goldie Blocks signing off. My favorite prank is warm water and a finger. You might be asking, what is that? You creep into someone's room. That might be a little weird, but it's okay. They're your friend. I hope you're doing it to a friend. You have a cup of warm water, you place it on the bedside table, take the finger, put it in the water, then they pee everywhere. <laughs>